Hey guys, welcome to the second video of our build on our burnout car, Regal. We picked a name and it's so freedom infused, it's called the Bald Regal. So thanks to you guys for your comments below on the last video. Uh, this thing's gonna be awesome and we got some cool ideas for some decal wrap type of stuff. Today we're gonna get started on working on the Regal and we're gonna focus on getting the engine transmission in and the new rear end in. The rear end that was in it is locked up, so we went ahead and picked up a nine inch. Real quick before we get going, shameless plug on our new t-shirt. It's a new Made in the USA shirt. It's gray and on the back it has our Made in the USA insignia and uh, American flag on the sleeve. Goes great with the Regal and all the freedom that comes along with it. Hope you like this video. Check it out. Leave us a comment and let us know what you think. Or even a little short. That'll be. It's not like we're going to be putting drag radios on it and launching it. Yeah, exactly. We just want to add a little stiffness to it. Since we're a little crunched on time and we don't want to put a huge budget into this thing, we're just going to go ahead and um, box the lower control arms. People have been doing that forever. So Mitch and I are going to take some measurements and we're going to head over to our plasma and cut out some steel and have Herm weld them in. It honestly doesn't even matter what thickness metal we use, I don't think, either. Uh, 12? Call it... I'd call it 11. 11? By... 2. 2? 11 by 2 for those, times 2. And then this one's actually like a triangle. Uh, oh yeah, it does get narrower. That one's... Call it... Three, two and seven eighths. Sorry, two and seven eighths. That would be close enough. We aren't going that fast with this thing. No. Honestly, for as thick as the 11 gauge, it'd probably be about the right thickness to yeah. throw those little pieces stick in there. And it'll just be super duper. Yeah. <laughs> super duper. Super duper. <laughs> oh, hi, sir. It's been mullet tested. Oh, All right, let's go do it. Put her down. Yeah. to go 200 mile an hour. It just has to not collapse. Yeah, it's just the back tires have to go 200. <laughs> <laughs> I guess they are. Yeah, it is kind of. What rear, what rear gear are we putting in it? Whatever's in that rear end. Uh oh, did we miss on that? Yeah, it'll work. It'll work. It could Bet be longer. Better than right? stock. Yeah. yeah. Sweet. She'll do things. <laughs> I mean, if they collapse, we'll just have to get better ones. Yeah. I mean, really the only way they're going to collapse is a nice wall tab. <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to make it not rust. It'll be like the rusty rear end. I'm not even taping anything off. That's not how I live my life. And we had to stop at Walmart to get a football. We did. Doug told us for the anti-roll bar to put in the spring. A football. Doug told us to get a football. This one? This one. On the one side. It's apparently an old G 
G-Body thing. I don't know. You're the G-Body guy. Never so, heard of that. You put it in the one, I, I think, the driver's side and inflate it to your liking. And then apparently she don't squat as much. Whoa, guy. Wow. Oh, man. Got there, Brand spanking new control. Brand new modified GM box control arms. That's right. Who ordered these sons of bitches? America? America? Okay, so we got the rear end mounted in this thing and realized there's no spring purchase because I think this rear end might be for a stock car. Do it for Dale. And uh, so we went ahead and got some exhaust pipe welded to some plate that we cut out on a plasma cutter. We're going to zap those suckers on there. Finish up the back end here. What's up, Teddy? Bear. I'll forever be known as the Jolly Guy. I can't help but smile when I see a camera pointed <laughs> at me. The Jolly Man with the bullet. People were commenting they thought you were the You Betcha guy. <laughs> yeah, I seen that. The You Betcha. You Betcha. You Betcha. Ships. I don't think you're gonna get there if you trim that. That's probably where it came from. What is it? <laughs> oh, I just almost asked in. how complete this motor is, and then I looked at the front and realized it doesn't have a crank. Not very <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, this motor's not sure. Run. At all. <laughs> it's just, it's just little, this, low compression. This radiator is so ridiculous, I don't even know what to do with it. The I love it. Oh, we're hard at it. Andy's cutting the clearance for the radiator. Mitch is getting an old steering column out, so we can put in a motion one. And Daryl is drinking water, that's what Daryl does, he drinks water. And Brian is race prepping this old Daryl Waltrip radiator. Brock, you get that sweet console out of there? Oh yeah. All right, lower radiator supports out. Andy got it all chopped out of there so we can make room for that NASCAR radiator. This thing's girthy. I don't think this car is going to overheat. We might not even need a fan for it, but we'll put one on. So this thing actually served in NASCAR. It says uh, Rockingham 2 of 99 and Darlington 3 of 99. Certified ripper. Guarantee nobody else is bringing anything like this to the party. Daryl's dreams have all come true. <laughs> if this thing had a bed, it would be so right for Daryl. You have to go out that way a little bit. You can notch a circle if you have to. Right there. That probably isn't that bad, actually. You can get to that hose. Go cheat it that way because of this. Yeah. All right, uh, passenger front. You'll be able to get to it. Yeah, that'll work. Something like that. Can I come off here or something? Yeah. I think it's 42 inches outside to outside out there. I forgot Herm's our resident G body expert. 30. Let's go up center to center is 39. Should be able to come down and try about the same on this side. Yep. Okay. There's enough here to work as a battery tie down too. Cool. <laughs> I don't see why we need Wait, hold on. Give me right there. Hold on. Yep. There's one of them pointy third gen oh, screws God. holding the battery strap oh, onto yeah. the core support. Telescoping strap. What? Telescoping strap. That's amazing. We, I was, I don't, we There's might want to we might wanna over engineer the, the radiator hold down because it's going to be like 80 pounds. It can't go that far because it runs in here. Oh, it's steering yeah, it's going to it. It's our safety. The hood's going to keep it where it yeah, is. You got me one? Yep. Now we got to just do the front. Just put it oh, to the right there. Right there. Right there. 
Barrel, 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 go barrel, give me more bolts for that. He's underneath the car right now. Well, yeah. get up. Yeah, Where are they at? Here. Oh, we're going to there? Yeah. Nice. Where are they at, boss? Oh, you can, you can move over. Yeah, you go to that one right there. Cut her a little long, you can always zip it off later. I got her. Yeah. There you go. Where'd that screw go, Mitch? It's right on top of the radio. Oh. Grab some quarter inch washers too, Doug. Holding it up by the fan. <laughs> <laughs> no, all the weight supported underneath. We're just. Have you seen the weld I put on our ankle? No worries. I really feel this needs a self tap. This is a self tap sort of situation. Well, no. we can we can double up and put something <laughs> right, into, right into the front <laughs> left. Yeah. T top or targa top? <laughs> it's probably going to be on an open trailer, so we'll probably leave the tops on it. Oh, yeah. If we're not going to trailer this girl enclosed? Uh, not if we don't have to. Someone might steal it. <laughs> they can have it. <laughs> we'll be out $500. Where's that elusive 10 mil? Uh, there's a bunch of them in the box. 10. Ooh, first there's one you grabbed. Yeah, that's how I do. I think I'm just never going to own a car. But I'm gonna own Ooh, I don't know about cars. this one, boys. Uh, we're home. You're there. We don't need any of this bullshit, do we? Ain't going in. Cross thread? Hey, some threads yeah. are better than no threads, right? Oh shit, we need that. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Don't need There's that. a 10 on there? God damn. Don't need that. Don't work so hard. Oh, Brady, do you need these shears back? No, no I like working hard. <laughs> like I said, turn around. Some threads are better than no what threads. What'd you call them? Oh, I didn't get the angle of the dangle. Right. <laughs> Fear not, I found some nice stainless bolts yeah, to top this off. <laughs> <laughs> I need a four Only the best there. for this, Doug. I'll bring it Thanks. Turn up in. I was going to push on the column. Okay. There you go. That'll work. Let Where's me know where the. Yeah, let's grab the steering wheel. I'll, I'll drill the bottom ones and get them close. And then that last one, I'll wait till the last minute. It, it's about perfect. Okay, just leave it there for a second so I can get you the bottom one real quick. That's badass. Badass. Beautiful ashtray for your door elves. Yeah. Custom cup holder. Ooh, yay. Put your tall boy in there. Mm -hmm. And a roll bar. Regulation size. Do you have the inflation tool for the anti roll bar? I do. So, do you have a deflation tool for it? Uh, we can figure it out. I bought the flattest one they had. So, we realized that we didn't want this thing to do the G body lean, so. We went out and bought ourselves a nice little anti-roll bar. Old school shit. You can just put this in there and then like cock it to the side in the hole. Yeah. I don't know, I never played sports ball. <laughs> I played the bench, so. <laughs> it's an important position. I was a water boy. <laughs> in golf. <laughs> See if feed her in, feed it to her. Just gotta feed it to her. I haven't heard that in a while. Might need two bar, two anti roll bars. Yeah. Well, one will be good because it's gonna be somewhat compressed at right height. Just gotta make sure we can access our uh, hind joint here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <A> greaser. <laughs> And that's how you put an anti-roll bar in a G-body. I don't think I've actually ever done this. <laughs> oh, really? It's awesome. <laughs> well, we're going to drop a little bit first. Put the bar go. There, there we, we go. go. Nice. Make sure the fill valve is accessible from the wheel well. Yep, that's right here. You probably want it from the outside. Uh, you want to be able to get it from with the tire on. Yeah, because oh, we'll yeah. be able to. You, this thing sits up so high now that there's no gas tank. You can get back there. Yeah. Get this one in, Brady. Squeezer. Ready, hang down. <laughs> All right. Ready to go. Fog some paint and then inside. Fog some paint, yeah. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for watching this video. 
We got a lot of work done, the engine, the transmission, the rear end mounted. We got our super cool anti-roll bar and our uh, control arms box. Our guys had a blast on this thing. Real quick question before I leave, how long do you think this anti-roll bar football is gonna last before it blows up? We will see you guys next time. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure to slam that like and subscribe button. We got a lot of videos coming your way and I think you're gonna like them.